dear learner welcome in my lecture of web technology today i will discuss about introduction to form the form form input tag form tax input i am dr ashutosh kumar bhat associate professor school of computer science and it uttarakhand open university haldwani so learning objective of this lecture is to implement pull down menu and submission button in the form to explain how to use placeholder tags specific tags input email url number search slider date picker user age audio and video in html form in previous lecture we have discussed about how to create forms implement text box check box says radio button in it so uh, first of all the text box so in previous lecture we have discussed about text field in text field we can store limited number of value in single line but the text box text area which is which will store more than one line and multiple line we can store in text area multiple column as well as multiple row we can store so this is an example uh, this is for large input suppose we have to write one paragraph or we have to brief anything so we will have to use this text area so here inside html we have form and inside the form we have one paragraph that is inside p tag and then we have text area having 10 row and 30 column so uh, in text box we can write only one row but in text area we can write multiple rows so we have to mention here number of row and number of column and it is showing here in the bottom of this slide so this is blank text area and we can write around 10 row uh, uh, and 30 columns in this text area so here please provide your suggestion in the text box this is paragraph and then the text area and form is closed and then finally html is closed so this is one more example of text box and text area so here name and email are text box and comments are the text area so comments we have to write suppose we have to write multiple line for the comment then comment will be text area so here uh, form id form contact so this is the form id id is a unique identifier of the form so form will be represented by this id and input type text we have mentioned here first line that is input type text means first first tag first text box and its variable name is text name and placeholder is name so whatever we will write inside the placeholder it will be visible on that text box but it will be uh, it will be dimmed it will be on background so it means we have to write here name and second line you can see inside the form that is input type email we are not writing here input type text we are writing here email so email is a specific type of text box so which is especially for the email so whenever we will write the mail id so automatically it will add at the rate sign so its variable name is text email and placeholder is email placeholder will be display over the background of that email text and thus third is text area its name is txt comments so this is variable name and its placeholder that is comments and its maximum length is 500 so we can write here maximum length as well as we can write here text area row and columns so both we can write but here we have mentioned max length 500 character and this text area will be closed form will be closed now see the pull down menu so this is this is again a combo box so uh, 
we can create combo box inside the form so here see again paragraph select a fruit slash p and select name fruit so this is the variable name fruit of this combo box and the option options are first option is apple second option is banana third option is orange so option selected means the first option that will be visible the option that will be visible on this combo box that is apples so option selected is apple so that's why apple will be uh, showing on this combo box and select is closed and finally uh, when we will execute it accordingly we can we can select any of these three options so this is pull down menu and we can say it combo box also now uh, see the submission button uh, submit button so here we have this form name input action html form action dot asp in last lecture we have discussed about the action tag and where we have executed the PHP file but in this example we are executing ASP file ASP mean active server pages so from HTML we can execute PHP we can execute JSP file we can execute ASP file so any server side programming files we can execute so here only single uh, text box username input type text name user and then line break and in in after this line break it will show the submit button where however the, the submit button is not showing in this slide but it will show the submit button and value means caption of that that uh, button is submit so as you will click on that submit button so accordingly this action tag will activate it will execute and html form action dot asp file will be executed so this is the submission button now uh, now HTML file after this HTML so uh, HTML has many features and we many many uh, different different elements for the form uh, but in HTML file we have more advanced form element and previously uh, we will use we use this HTML4 and later on this is standardized in 1997 and on 28 October 2014 HTML 5 was released and this is the final and complete fifth version of HTML standard of World Wide Web Consortium W3C and uh, this World Wide Web Consortium W3C and international community where member organization a full time staff and the public together develop the web standard so this it is very important in case of this web tools and web community so w3c this this establish the standards so uh, uh, this is the role of w3c and w, w3c has standardized this html4 into html5 previously it was sdml so in html5 html5 is more advanced than html4 so uh, what is advanced in this html5 we have placeholder tags we have uh, select tax input like email input we have URL we have number we have search uh, we will have this slider which is not in HTML4 date picker is here which is not available in uh, HTML4 user agent validation is not possible in HTML4 so many uh, advanced features are included in HTML5 that's why this HTML5 is more advanced than HTML for you can see uh, the object the output of this uh, like calendar control like slider like uh, smart standard keyboard so there are many many uh, examples are there so some of them we are implementing here so uh, like video so you can see here we have video tag in html5 while it is not in html4 so inside html we have uh, when we start HTML5 program, then we will start it by exclamation doc type HTML. So this is compulsory. It means the uh, the browser will understand that this is HTML code, HTML5 code, and then HTML will start and body. Inside body, we have video element, video tag, and source is movie.ogg. 
so this ogg file movie dot ogg file will will execute and it 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 will execute in a width of 320 and height of 240 uh, window and inside this uh, movie will display and the caption will be there uh, this string your browser does not support the video tag when it will not execute so in that case this message will be display otherwise that video file will be displayed in the in a block of 320 width and 240 width and finally we are closing here video and then body and then html so specifically it will design that uh, sized window and display the movie and same way we have audio tag this is another program uh, this audio tag we have song.ogg file and uh, controls are there control to uh, minimize the voice and maximize the voice uh, and other control are also so this will be this will be uh, again display over our screen but suppose the file is not opening then uh, the message will be flashed on our screen your browser does not support the audio element and finally we will close the audio so if this attribute is present the browser will offer control so this uh, controls equals to controls so all the controls uh, will be displayed over the um, uh, window to allow the user to control the audio playback including volume seeking pause resume playback so these standard button will be uh, flashed over our screen when it will execute and accordingly we can we can increase or decrease the uh, voice uh, property of that audio so uh, this is email input email so it is also designed especially for uh, inputting email while in text box there is no validations are there so for simple input we use the uh, input type text box but specific input like email or password so we will mention input type email or input type password in case of input type password it will display asterisk sign whatever we will writing and in case of input type email it will automatically add at the rate sign so the email type is used to input field that should contain email address uh, the value of email field is automatically validate when the form is submitted suppose we are writing we are typing the wrong email id so automatically it will uh, validate it and uh, alarm us that we are writing the wrong one or otherwise it will accept the input email like this input type equals to email name user user email so this is the variable name so this is the example so after learning these two lecture listening these two lecture the learning outcome of the lecture learner can practically implement the uh, pull down menu submission button in the form learner will understand how to use placeholder tags specific tags input email url number search slider data security user age audio and video in the html form so thank you very much thank you dear student